Howdy, welcome to Fish Tales. I tell you what, let's, it's Saturday morning for today. Let's go do a little fishing. I only got a little bit of time to fool with it. I got other things to do today, but I'm gonna go out and see if anybody wants to have some on the water instruction. I don't know if there'll be folks out there or not, but either way, I'm okay. Hang on, stay with me. Good the wind filter works today. Got my little wind filter on this camera, and the wind is howling. I got a lot of flies to test today. Most of these I've tied in the uh, recent history lots of poppers lots of streamers this one in particular is the one I'm most interested in the moment it's weedless and I want something that's going to work a little deeper in the water column and in these lakes that's kind of risky because there's a lot of weeds so I came up with a weedless one if you noticed it's all neutral earth colors I don't want it to stand out much. The water's clear here, so it shouldn't really matter. I've got a bunch of other flies to test if that one doesn't do the trick. Let me explain my rig here. I've got my regular fly line that I've made a loop in the end of it. That's thread right there. That binds it together, and it's a loop. Then I took a, a leader. Because I'm using a subsurface fly, I'm fishing in clear water, for various reasons, I've got it set up this way. The fly line loop to loop, that, that's pretty standard for my stuff. Whether I use a leader, a swivel, or just a leader, that kind of depends on what kind of fly I'm throwing and the conditions. Right now it's windy as the dickens. I've got these special braided furled leaders that I make. This is a 30 pound test braid and it's eight strands at the top and four strands at the bottom let me show you the other end of it this is a, this is a fancy leader too man this is made out of two different colors it comes down to the end and it's nice green colored i just looped in my mono and this is 15 pound test mono and it goes down to my fly i'll just tie a regular knot on the end of this for my fly so that's my rig why I do it this way but basically it's for strength you know four strands of uh, 30 pound test well that's 120 pounds I know this leader will not break the lines gonna break before it does and that's important when you're working a big fly that may or may not twist if it does twist I've got that leader or that swivel in there that that's really the reason I use it is to compensate for the twist wind let up for just a second I'm gonna get up here so I can have the wind at my back man I, I reconditioned my old fly line a little bit and man it is working good <laughs> it shoots out there real good and it even floating I'll be dang <laughs> amazing how things work when you take care of them working that thing a little deeper a little slower I got more confidence in the other part of the lake but I've caught fish here too we're just gonna ooh there's a bump that was a bump doggone man this might be a good day how clear it is up here 
tape I'm going to do is I'm going to stay real shallow right along the edge here all the way down and fish the shallowest water and then I'll wade back in the other direction going back this way a little bit deeper that way I hit shallow water going this way and deeper water going this way I'm pretty confident that there ought to be some fish way up in this shallow water even though it's as clear as it is it's a bright sunny day that usually factors in so how's the wind noise <laughs> it's blowing like mad I'm hoping it's way off All I gotta do is just get it up in the air and then the wind will carry it like mad. No problem making a old 60 foot cast. Keep that rod tip right on the water. Keep that slack out of that line. That's the most important thing when fishing like this. You've got to strip set that hook and you need to be able to feel that bass when he first picks it up. When he first picks it up, you got a split second to set that hook. And if you're already pulling on the line, you'll get the fish. If not, and you're relying on the rod to set the hook, you're going to miss that fish. Oh man, got some competition coming in. Here comes Doug. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a crappie! There you go. One crappie on a bass fly. How about that? Doug must be good luck. Showed up and I catch a fish. Oh, fishies it's a little bit too bright but boy I can tell you what tonight as that Sun gets down the angle gets back steep right about the time the Sun goes down this water has warmed up a bunch the surface especially with the south wind blowing it really warms up the surface water I'm expecting a heck of a lot of activity right about dark This is a sweet spot. I can just barely reach it. There we go. This whole area right here is just, it's got the only structure left that's a little bit like a creek. Can't quite get to the spot that I want to hit. Get close. Right, I got it real close to the best spot on the whole lake. Have caught fish and lost fish right here doing just this many times <laughs> ordering to the wind on my cast and that's not easy so, this water's real hard to read when it's got this much wave action bigger than that when he first picked it up. Uh, weedless fly. Barbless hook. Oh, it's not barbless. No wonder it didn't come out. I just hooked the heck out of him. Little bass. Thanks for coming. And he cast it straight into the wind. Come on, fish. Pick it up. I ain't throwing my shoulder out worth it. 
some reason the wind just kind of laid down a little bit. Boy, it's getting nice today. It's pretty. Pretty day, that's for sure. I'm sure it's going to continue blowing hard. There for a minute, laid up real nice. Oh, there's a better one. There's a good one. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. There's a good fish. There's a good one. Getting a little bigger. Nice fish. Nice fish. <laughs> I didn't flatten the barb on this hook, so these fish aren't coming out. They're not cutting, coming unbuttoned. Nice fish. Boy, they, they really fight when they first hit it. All right, thanks for coming. Go tell your mama I'm here. Straighten my fly out. Boy, this thing is working. This fly is working pretty good. That's a wire, coated wire, leader making material that I use as my weed guard. Pretty good. It's one of the first weedless ones I've made that's not fishless. They seem to have a few fish hanging in here. Seem to be a few fish. Had lots of good strikes. Come on, fish. Need your cooperation came on button son of a gun I had that fish on way over there turned the camera on got it running and he came unbuttoned the fish have really not moved shallow yet a day like today the whole water column is changing everything deep to shallow this water is really churning up Really getting churned up. I'll be surprised if I don't catch something over here. Usually do. This is about a perfect a situation for a day like today. I have the wind at my back and the sun at my back at the same time. So that basically gives me an, a, an approach to this area that's perfect. Yeah, I just had what was probably a crappie. You hang up behind you like that. That's a good opportunity to change flies. <laughs> yeah, let's try another streamer. One of the little lighter colored. I got it wet and started using it and decided it needed a modification. It wasn't it wasn't that it wasn't working right. It looked good in the water, but I think it was just too big. That's got a long, very light hook in it, though. It, it wasn't sinking right, so I took extra part of the skirt off and uh, basically made the fly so it would sink a little bit better. Started working good. Well, I worked my way three quarters of the way around. I'm going to see what it's like on the other side now. Right back there where I parked the car. fishing clear side of the lake I'm sure there's fish hanging around here somewhere all right change lure change flies I don't think I tied this fly either but I'm going way off in the different direction I put on a 
rabbit strip, lead eye. I don't know what that, I don't know what you call that. It's a rabbit strip with some red eyeballs on it, lead eye, so it'll sink. I think that may be the key to get it down a little deeper. It's bright chartreuse. Now let's see if they like it. Now, the idea here is to repeat this about 50 times. Big old crappie. Pretty good indication of crappie when I start biting here. Sink, let it sink, feel that line. See, I keep that line coming across my finger. And I can actually feel the take. There's your indication that we've had some warmer weather. I think those are elm trees coming out already. Happens every year. I don't think it's early. It's about right on time. That fish is lucky. He gets to go back. What a day. Yeah, the wind's just starting to lay up now. What a day out at the ranch. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.